Oh, yeah, I'm starting to babble already. Well, here, let me welcome a few new subscribers. You know, hey, the sub list is still scrambled, but it's kind of funny how by random, uh, randomly, stuff will, will end up at the end of uh, my sub list. And I could probably look at my email. Maybe I could look at my email and see, uh, see where my latest sub was. Yeah, it's just too hard doing it this way. I don't like it. I, I, I protest. <laughs> but I want to welcome the Robinsons, the Robinsons Robot B9. You know, I love these old television themed uh, uh, sock, sock accounts. And if I did not have a, I already laid down the, ground, the, the rules that I don't do sock accounts pretending to be somebody else because, because when there was trouble, when there was trouble in, on Kong Island, um, people were pointing fingers accusing people of being people that they weren't. And I'll leave that up to the, those other folks that play those games. And I won't do that because I'll look you right in the eye. I don't do sock accounts, okay? So you won't see me pretending to be somebody else. Um, but I, I do, I do love these. Um, you know, uh, Dr. Smith, I was, talking, I was talking to Jeff, Nigel Cromwell on the phone. And, uh, you know, he, and he had a really excellent point that Dr., without Dr. Smith, the show would have not, <laughs> the show would have not been what it was. And the man was so camp. And, and he was like this guy. And you'd always think every episode you'd be like, why don't they kill him? <laughs> He's always messing everything up. He's, but, he, you know, he represented everything like a self-centeredness, a narcissist, greedy, and there was also that, that sort of stereotype. He was sort of obviously gay, you know. Uh, and I don't mean to make, you know, the gay people, but that was the old stereotype. Like, gay people are, you know, not to be trusted, you know. Um, oh, let me hear. I'll show you my, my shirt that I'm wearing. Stereotypes are a real time saver. <laughs> oh, that's from, that's from The Onion. Um, but uh, what a great show. And uh, years ago, somebody... Uh, Somebody put out a book, and it was lists of things. I don't know if it was a whole book, but it was the idea, like, growing up um, by picking between these two different things, like maybe a certain band, excuse me, certain type of music, you know, that from an early age you might be able to tell if you were gay or straight. And so the question would be, Lost Your Space or Star Trek? <laughs> and if you're a big, big fan of Lost in Space, it could be your game. I personally liked both. What does that make me? <laughs> Partridge Family or the Brady Bunch? Well, in that case, I'm definitely straight. Partridge Family. I, uh, you know, I watched the Brady Bunch, but I didn't really like it. I kind of hated it. Um, I think, you know, I, I blame it on my brother and sister why we watched uh, um, the Brady Bunch. And... Uh, and of course, it's just it's just for entertainment. There's no there's no science behind it, because because my brother who I'll, I'll tell you uh, I'll tell you a little I'll share something. Well, I don't know if that's fair. Yeah, I can't. Oh, we won't talk about my brother. <laughs> but he hated Lost in Space. He hated it. Wait, wait, wait. I love my brother, and uh, he doesn't watch YouTube or anything like that. But uh, still, I have to be—I have to be fair. I can talk all I want about myself, you know. And the woman that should not be mentioned, she has a point. I shouldn't talk about people in my life, you know. But of course, it makes things so much more entertaining if I could just blab, blab, blab about people and say stuff, you know, about people in my world. <laughs> oh God, now I'm seeming like Dr. Smith. No, I'm not really that way. Cheers. Oh, I got me thinking, but Lost in Space was just such a weird show. Just so weird. Um, so anyway, welcome to Robinson's Robot B9. Oh, let me read this. This is great. Kudos to uh, whoever wrote this because I thought this was really cool. Environmental Control Unit B9. Trusted and beloved robot companion to the Robinson family. I hate Dr. Smith. If I get a chance, I intend to murder him and make it look like an accident. No one will care. <laughs> That's funny! That's hilarious! It's really good.
<laughs> Name, robot. <laughs> danger, danger, Will Robinson. Remember that? And uh, Dr. Smith, oh, you pusillanimous, tin-plated booby. Oh, oh, the pain, the pain. <laughs> yeah. All right. You know, it's funny. I get I get compliments, and thank you. I get compliments from some people that watch Citizen Kong, uh, Fez Knight, and say, well, you're really funny. You know what? If I try to be funny, I don't think I'm that funny. Um, you know? And I'm glad that you, that, you, that you laugh, or you might find some of what I do amusing. Really, thanks. I appreciate that. Um, this, uh, another, another new sub that showed up here. And, uh, oh, she has a video up. Oh, I have to watch this. But I want to say, welcome back, Hattache. And uh, she, um, you know, real striking icon picture. She's got, she's got such a look, you know. And she's, uh, she's over there in the UK. And, um, and she's, she's, she's a young thing. But, um, but, you know, she's very mature. Very, very hip, you know. Um, she's not silly for being young. <laughs> not like me, Citizen Kong, silly, and I'm old. But, um, but uh, I want to welcome back Hattache, and her channel name is This Freak is Alive. And uh, she's got a video up, and uh, shoot, I almost want to stop and watch it right now, but hey, I'm doing Fez Night. So uh, I'll get back to it later. And, uh, oh, you know what? No wonder I didn't know she had a video up, because... I forgot to sub back. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. Here we go. Yeah, she had, did I, did I tell you what? Distiller's Rock was her other channel. And I have a feeling that there's this other sock account that might have been her. But it's funny, when she disappeared, that channel went silent too. Coincidence? It's all part of the game of guessing who's who. But never guess at Citizen Kong because I'm telling you now, at least... To, for now, I don't do sock accounts. I might change it later, but you know, it's risky business. <laughs> I, like, I like being up front. I like being the goody two-shoes of the network of evil. I haven't talked about the NOE in a while. Um, you know, but uh, <laughs> there's that whole, you know, evil thing that bothers me a little bit. <laughs> oh, hanging out with a bad crowd, yeah. <laughs> oh, but we need to get some, like, good, some good, uh, you know, collaboration videos going, you know? Something, something, somebody get the ball rolling or something, you know? Hey, I, admittedly, I loved being, you know, sort of the center of attention of the Kill Kong saga. But let, hey, you know what? I'm a good sport. I don't, I didn't, it doesn't need to be all about me. Um, if we did something else where, I know, let's kill Pops. <laughs> what do you think? <laughs> I'll be the first one. Wait, do I have a knife around here somewhere? Oh no, my gun's not handy. But we can start by, let's, no, okay. Just kidding you, Pops. Just razzing you. 